Hey guys, this is Meg Monkeys, and in this uh, video, I'll be doing a breakdown for my Rolling Ball Dynamics animation video, as requested by Superzook. I'm gonna assume that's how it's pronounced. Um, so yeah, uh, this is my scene. It was actually made in release 12, and this is release 13. I just brought it over from my other computer to record this. Uh, but it's pretty much the same. Uh, so, uh, actually one thing I want to point out is that I don't have the HDR I use to, um, to light the scene, because I made it on my other computer. Um, and so, so from that I use the sky with a HDRI to light the scene and get a little bit of reflections on all my glossy materials. So I guess I'll go into that um, material, I just used a, a default uh, material, which I got from the broadcast um, glossy set. I used um, plastic, plastic gray, where is it, or just plastic glossy for the white gray. I might have changed it actually. Uh, for the default, and then plastic red for the ball uh, to make it stand out. And I tried out some other materials as you can see, and I found those to be the best because it gave nice contrast um, for the focal point. And notice I also have um, protection tags on <laughs> on everything except for the camera and the ball, which are the only things that are supposed to move because having some funky things going on with my dynamics animation not working because um, things were being moved around when I didn't wasn't meaning to so I just did that just to be safe um, and so talking about dynamics uh, on my on my ball I have a dynamics body tag I think everything is um, is set to defaults. Um, pretty sure, actually, I might have changed these. I'm not sure if these are defaults. I'm. I did this a while ago, so sorry if I don't remember everything. Um, and then also on everything that collides with, obviously, a collision tag. Uh, okay, and then actually getting into how I made stuff. It's pretty simple. I think everything is a um, NURBS object, and there's some primitives. I'm not sure why I didn't just make cylinder primitives instead of extruding circle NURBS, but that's what I did. Um, and so, yeah, so I've got extrusions um, for the spiral. I used a sweep NURBS, um, so I swept a circle NURBS, or spline, along a helix. Um, and then I also put little uh, supports on, uh, on the spiral so that it wasn't just floating there, um, which I did for everything, nothing is floating. I uh, I built everything first for what I wanted the wanted to collide with, um, but and then I did the pillars to hold everything up, which um, I don't know maybe could have been better because it led to some last minute adjustments of uh, how things worked. Um, and something that's important in this is the organization. So I've got all my just general stuff up at the top. And then everything else is organized in uh, chronological order. So we have the start, what the ball first bounces off, and what's related to that. Um, and then spirals comes after that, the supports, and then it rolls down, and it bounces, and then it rolls down another thing, and then come to the bouncing board thing. Um, 
So yeah, and you can see everything is uh, it's clearly clearly labeled um, so that I know what's where. And the reason it's chronological is um, so I can easily find stuff. So if I'm working around this area, I know that anything I want to find will be um, will be around here. Uh, and then if I'm working over at this part, then everything will be at the bottom. So that helps me out. Um, I also used layers, so you can see, to um, to distinguish what's what. Um, so I've got into the pillars, um, rollers, so things that it rolls along. Collision hill is what I called this board. I so I should have kept that consistent. Um, the supports, so these uh, bars that go across to support the pillars, and also the supports for the spiral. Um, so that just helped keep me keep me organized. And another layout thing is um, I went to arrangement under panel and uh, for views left split. Um, which gave me this layout, which I liked for this because I have a big view to see everything or zoom in on a specific thing I'm working on, uh, which is obviously good. And then I was trying to align um, for when the ball falls um, at the beginning, trying to get it in the right place and position it along the... Uh, with the pillars to roll into the spiral. Uh, so having this top view here uh, helped me with that. And then the next kind of tricky part was the uh, the collision board. Um, so it was good having this front view to, uh, to see how everything was lined up and was bouncing um, in a is it called orthographic, I think, view? Um, that might not be the right terminology, but, uh, and then also the right to get things lined up and uh, all nice. And one thing I noticed was uh, things weren't bouncing the same way all the time, um, so I had some issues with that. Um, I probably should have baked the... Uh, the dynamics in retrospect, but I don't think I knew what that meant at the time, so that's why I had some problems with that. Um, right, I think I'm missing something. Well, another point is I don't have any keyframes other than on the camera. Um, so you can see I've got my motion path along there. Um, with a target tag onto the ball, uh, this target ball, so that it is always in the uh, in the center of the frame. Um, but one problem I had with that was um, <laughs> it's funny watching all the axes go crazy. Was in this bounce, the camera bounced a little bit. I'm not sure if anyone else noticed that, but it. It bugged me, but I didn't really want to detach it to have another camera. Um, I don't know if there's anything else really interesting about this. Um, oh, these, um, the bounce things are cogwheels with five teeth extruded. Um, and... Hope this video hasn't been too boring. I hope uh, Super Zook or whatever his name was got his uh, what he wanted out of this. If not, um, you can leave a comment and I will answer any questions or go over anything you'd like. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so, yeah. Um, don't think there is anything else. So now I'm just clicking on stuff. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching and goodbye.